Hello again. In these videos, I'm going to be discussing system security. At GCSE, the exam boards all tread very similar territory for this topic. These three videos cover everything that you need to know at GCSE for OCR, Edexcel and AQA. If you haven't already done so, it's worth downloading the specification for your particular exam board and cross-referencing these topics to make sure that you understand what it is you're doing. In this first video, I want to give you a brief overview of the topic as a whole, so you understand the different areas that we're going to cover. I'll then go on and answer the most general question, focusing on why system security is so important. In the second video, I'm going to examine the specific threats to network security or system security, which fundamentally amount to the same thing, as well as vulnerabilities in the system and how they can be identified. In the third video, I'm going to cover methods for preventing or mitigating against the threats we've already discussed, and then dig a bit deeper to pinpoint precisely which threat each of these methods prevents and how it prevents them. So let's get straight to it and get a thumbnail view of this topic. There are four main strands. Firstly, why system security is so important. Well, that's a nice easy one to start with because the answers lie quite close to the surface. And given the recent pandemic, there are clear reasons why system security is so important. We then focus on the specific threats for networks. There are a number of different types of threats but they can be broken down broadly into two main groupings, logical and physical. The logical threats centre around malware, DDoS attacks, SQL injections and phishing, spelt with a PH of course. And the, the physical approach can be summarised by security involving doors and locks and biometrics and smart cards and so on. So once we've established a list of threats, you then need to form a clear picture of how each individual threat is carried out. And you need to understand why the attack was actually carried out in the first place. What was the motivation behind the attack? Was it, for example, for financial gain? Was it industrial espionage that I alluded to earlier? Was it an employee with a grudge or were there other reasons altogether? So the third strand of the network security topic is to consider how you can prevent threats from happening altogether, or at least mitigate against them. And by mitigation, I'm referring to the idea of limiting the damage that an attack may have on a system, because in reality, it's impossible to stop cyber attacks altogether. We then go into forensic detail to pinpoint the type of attack that each method mitigates against and how it achieves this. And we examine how to identify vulnerabilities with a view to preventing or limiting their impact on the network and of course the business. Let's focus on the main part of this video, which is to form an understanding of why system security is so important in the first place. If a network suffers a cyber attack, there are a number of possible outcomes including data being stolen or corrupted, and databases, systems, or entire networks being compromised, potentially to the point that users cannot access them. And this may in turn prevent a business from operating altogether. It's worth reflecting for a moment on how quickly global business has changed, particularly over the last 25 years. 25 years ago, the internet was in its infancy, and the main method of communication was the telephone. Increasingly, however, information technology is being used not just for online retail, e-commerce or communication, but all sorts of other functions within a business are totally reliant on IT. In schools, we use databases to track student process and attendance. Software is used to handle payroll, to control the national grid, to underpin air traffic control. The list is endless. And we know that IT is used widely in entertainment, for example, with streaming services becoming the dominant force in global entertainment. So let's consider what system security actually achieves. It keeps data and programs secure. 
But secure from what? Good security prevents files and data from being stolen or being corrupted or compromised. Let's take the behemoths, the global giants like Apple, Microsoft, Samsung or Google, the modern-day oil barons, if you like, the railroad tycoons of the modern era. They are currently pouring millions, if not billions of dollars into applications and technologies that will be released at some point in the future. Good system security for them means that their data is secure, it's not leaked, it's safe. So others will not become aware of their future plans. Because if their future plans were to be stolen and their competitors got hold of them, it would give them a huge business advantage. In terms of computers themselves, good system security means preventing them from becoming infected with viruses. We already know that computer viruses damage data, they slow computers down, and in doing so, they threaten the efficiency of an organization. Compromised networks have the potential to damage businesses because email is now the primary global means of communication. Were a cyber attack to prevent email communication, it would render a business far less effective and possibly useless. Equally, most modern businesses require their employees to be able to surf the internet in order to complete the day-to-day -day duties. If a cyber attack prevented this from happening, again, that would deeply impact on the efficiency of the business as a whole. Lastly, E-commerce now represents nearly one-fifth of all global retail, and as a result of the 2020 pandemic, that market share will undoubtedly increase. Were a DDoS attack to prevent sales at a critical period, that would deeply affect a company's profit margins. It could damage their reputation and potentially limit their ability to continue trading. In summary, system security is vitally important because compromised networks can seriously damage a business. System security keeps programs and data secure and ensures that computers remain healthy and virus-free. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you want to be the first person to see the latest videos on GCSE Computer Science.